So the Athletics thinks the Cincinnati Bengals should sign a veteran receiver in free agency. <clears throat> and this is going to be something that I feel like this can be very common throughout this whole entire offseason. And that is that the Bengals need to add a veteran. The Bengals need to add a veteran. We heard, you know, PFF say how we need to add a veteran cornerback. ESPN claims our biggest team weakness is wide receiver, which I still find absolutely hilarious. But this is going to be something we hear about a lot this offseason. What I don't understand is why the buzz is not around a veteran left guard or veteran lineman even more than what we already have. I mean, again... There is no delusion here. The only way you're going to be able to win a Super Bowl is by protecting number nine. So if you get a couple extra offensive linemen veteran-wise and they come in and let's say they're decent or good or as if anything just backups, well, that's just a plus, right? Protect number nine at all costs. So I, I don't understand why they're not kind of hope going on that. I mean, there are still some linemen available in free agency that you could go for. Um, but again, June 1st is coming up in 14 days, exactly two weeks from now. That's going to be where we actually see some real good offensive linemen get cut. And then we can actually, you know, make some moves. So the guy that they think we should pick up is the age-old Hunter Renfro. As they say here, Renfro is still a quality um, option in the slot. Having shown very good quickness to separate from the tight end with a tight coverage and feel for settling into zones and being available when a quarterback are forced to extend plays. He's only two seasons removed from a 103 catch season. I thought he might be a trade deadline target last year, but the up uh, hevel and timing of the front office as coaching changes with the Raiders uh, scuttered. And he thought of moving him. The Bengals lost Tyler Boyd, who is a fixture in the slot in the past few years. And there aren't uh, other options with previous production like Renfo. He could be a plug-and-play option. All right, so let me break down why I don't like this, okay? And I disagree with this. We don't need receiver, okay? Jermaine Burton, Yoshi, okay, outside receivers. They're the replacement for T. Higgins, right? Mike Krasicki played 70% in the slot last year for the Patriots. When he was at the Dolphins, he was a slot receiver. I know he's a tight end, but he plays pretty much as a big slot receiver. That's his thing. Tanner McLaughlin, he played college as a slot receiver. That was his thing. Right? So, and again, we also have Chuck Sizzle as well in there. Trent Irwin as well in there too. The thing about picking up a receiver, right? Because, again, I'm not against the idea if, you know, it's cheap enough to go and get a wide receiver. But it would have to be someone who's young. Because the point is, we're not trying to get a replacement for Tyler Boyd. As in, not only production value, but also age. I mean, Renfo is 28.4 years old, right? Like... If you want to get someone who's young, and when I mean get someone, I mean like undrafted. We're talking about league minimum. You're not paying this guy much of anything, but you're adding him to your roster for the simple fact of, hey, listen, we want someone on our roster that maybe in the future could be pretty good. You know, someone like that. I'm okay with that. I think there's nothing wrong with that. But to get a veteran that you're going to have to pay money to, like what are you really gaining out of this, right? At the end of the day, yeah, you know, you have another slot receiver, but you already have good players on the roster. And at some point, you have to start breaking down what's important to you when it comes to the 53-man roster. Because you're only going to keep six receivers, right? Every year, pretty much, we always keep six receivers. So if you're going to go out there and say, okay, well, sign Hunter Renfro, right? Who are you choosing Hunter Renfro over when it comes to the final 53-man roster? Because, well, yes, right now you might be like, well, we have 90-man roster right now. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's going to turn down to a 53-man roster very quickly. And you need to, once it does, have an ability to cut somebody and, you know, be able to take that roster spot. Every single roster of the 53-man roster is important. You can't have a player and you're like, oh, well, this guy, this guy, this guy. So who are you going to cut? Chuck Sizzle? I mean, he's our punt and kick returner. 
Are you like you have to cut a receiver on our roster? And there's not a receiver on our roster that I would not take over Hunter Renfro. And it's not like, for example, let's go, let's just go through them, okay? Jamar Chase. Come on now. Right? Um, T. Higgins. Well, for the future, you know. Cool. But again, this is not an option for the future. Hunter Renfro is not an option for the future. So if you're like, well, Hunter Renfro, but also Hunter Renfro is not an outside receiver. So like, okay. Number three, you have, um, what's his name? You, I see, I guess, I guess it would be Irwin now as number three. Because I was thinking about, like, I think Jermaine Burton's going to end up becoming number three eventually. But Trent Irwin, right? Would I rather have Trent Irwin or would I rather have Hunter Renfro? Honestly, for the price tag and knowing our offense already, give me, give me uh, Trent Irwin, right? Number four, uh, Jermaine Burton. I'll take him for the future and what he could give us for the future over Hunter Renfro. Yoshi, again, future-wise, I would 100% take Yoshi over Hunter Renfro. And then, that's actually, uh, no, but no, yeah, that's actually it. There's nobody else. They're, like, there, there's not one receiver on this roster that I'm not taking over Hunter Renfro. Because, again, I'm looking, you gotta look at it longevity-wise as well. Like, right now, it's nice to have that receiver, but... If you want to really become a great team, you have to develop your receivers and grow them over time. And I actually do want to go ahead and make sure I'm not missing anybody because I have a habit of missing people when I go through here. So let me just make sure. Um, Yoshi. Oh, no. Okay, I got everyone. And then obviously these guys aren't going to make the roster anyway, so it doesn't really matter, right? Um, but going down this list here. So, and then again... Is who are you going to take over? I did a video recently about the 53-man roster and my final predictions. And it's hard. It's really hard to look at all these names and find 53 names that you want on this roster. And then cut other guys because there's a lot of good players. So if we didn't have a good roster, if we had a very like minuscule roster... I would say, yeah, okay, maybe, like, you know, that wouldn't be the worst idea. But with how good of a roster we have and how much, you know, just skill we have on this roster and young talent that's going to develop, no. Like, if you want to bring in, again, an undrafted receiver and say, hey, listen, he's going to be, you know, on a 90-man roster competing for the 53-man roster, and they do that this offseason for the 90-man roster, okay, cool, yeah, do it. Like, I have no problem with that at all. If he makes the 53-man roster and he's good enough and Zach Taylor and the, the coaching staff thinks that this guy's the guy, go for it. But I don't want to go out there and get a veteran. I really don't. If you're going to get a veteran, get offensive line depth. That's what I will say. And I know right now, again, there's just not an option available, really, that that's good on offensive line depth on free agency. Then wait, right? There's no reason to go out there and, and do anything at all. Like... So again, like I said, I know this is going to be talked about a lot when it comes to this offseason because for some reason they love connecting us to veteran receivers ever since we lost Tyler Boyd. Like, do you, do you not understand the concept that we didn't bring Tyler Boyd back for a reason? Like, we don't want a 30-year-old wide receiver. We want to move on to a different direction. We want to continue, you know, to gear toward the future of this team and not just, okay, well, you know, Tyler Boyd's an option. Let's go to, like, no, we don't want a 30-year-old wide receiver. We want a future guy that's going to develop and be cheap. And we can, you know, kind of grow around this team. So, and also a little side note here. Joe can make pretty much any young wide receiver look amazing. I mean, he could make me look amazing. I could go out there and I could look like, um... If Helen Keller had like an ugly bro a brother or like a really overweight brother, that, that, and he was also blind, like Helen Keller. That's literally what Joe could make me look like. I, I, I don't, okay, yeah, I don't know why I went with that joke. I don't know why I went with that joke. Like, my point is, I would look good, okay? I don't know why I put Helen Keller in there, okay? You know what? That, that's beside the point, okay? That's beside the point. <laughs> there was definitely a point I was thinking about, but uh, that point went out the window. Wow. Didn't even see that one coming. Anyway, guys, make sure to like and subscribe button. 
Also, if you guys did not see yesterday, I did go ahead and release. I know I'm talking about this every single video, guys. This is my sponsor, Ad Read, sponsored by yourself and inc myself included. So I'm gonna do this at every single and the end of every single video. I'm gonna do my sponsor, Ad Read. If you're new, by the way, I have merch and I just released it. And uh, first time ever releasing merch. So if you want to pick it up and help support the channel, you know you can. Uh, we have different designs on uh, link down below in the description. Uh, again, anything you pick up will go ahead and help out support the channel. Don't feel like you have to. This is just if you like to support the channel and help me. Uh, but again, like I said, I'm going to do this every single video at the end of the video. Because I don't want to take away from content, okay? I don't want to take away from content for you guys. But at the same time, if anyone is new and doesn't know about this, hey, listen. You can pick up merch and help support the channel. And also be rocking out with that First Stop Bengals merch. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.